Oh yes, we have an alligator. <laughs> Just by accident I picked that one up. I was looking for turtles, which are right over here. And lo and behold, an alligator. It took me all last year to get one alligator. And this is in Georgia. It's a big one. They seem to get along with these turtles pretty well. I'm out on a trail today, just after about a day of rain. Something went into the water over there, hoping that it won't rain on me on this three mile hike. Well, what I'm looking at here is the nest of a gopher turtle. This is the uh, state reptile of Georgia. And uh, he's not at the end, but uh, from last year, I, when I was in Florida, <clears throat> this is what this is. Here's another one. This one goes down a long way, it looks like. But again, can't see anything down there. You can recognize them because they're like a mound of beach sand. In the middle of it is <clears throat> this hole. Well, I'm in General Coffee State Park today in uh, Georgia. It's kind of foggy out there, you might be able to see, but if you listen, you can hear millions of birds, not the ones that are in the, the loud ones in the front, but in the background. And not the train. So we'll see whether or not we're going to get closer to this group of birds. There's a swamp out here. Kind of in the thick of the fog here. It's about 71 degrees outside, very humid. With a chance of rain and thunderstorms today, so I'm hoping not to get uh, caught in that kind of a thing. But it's a pretty cool place. Check out this spider web over here if it'll come out. Spider webs are traditionally difficult to photograph. This one's okay at this angle. And here's a good angle. And there, there's the guy right in there. He's just waiting. All right, so. This is the way to travel. <laughs> well, the man I met on the trail said that at the end of the trail, and this is the end of the trail, that I would see the largest magnolia tree in the state of Georgia. That's what I'm looking at right now. It is pretty mag magnificent magnolia, as they say. <laughs> it's a biggie. Some very large fish in here. They look like uh, logs, but they're the fish. See its fin come up there for a second.
hear these fish again. The last time I was here, they're very long. Uh, they all jumped up into the air. Let's see if I can avoid that happening this time. You can see they spooked up right over here. Coming up with what they call the Heritage Farm. It's got some animals. Well, hello there, you guys. I have to get across this bridge. Are you going to let me do that? Come on. <laughs> to go to the other side. And the other side has, uh, so we have a goat over there, and a donkey over here, and a donkey over here. Here a chick, there a chick. Everywhere a chick, chick. It's pretty donkey. Well, I'm out the next day. It's not uh, quite as bad looking out there today. It looks like that there's maybe a turtle all the way over here. And I believe that's what that is. Well, it's uh, the day after a whole day of rain. <clears throat> I'm in Laura Walker State Park in Georgia on the Nature Trail. I was here last year. And uh, with all this rain, uh, the mushrooms have come up. These pretty cool mushrooms. Well, I'm at the second of the uh, Laura Walker hikes that I didn't take last year because I wasn't feeling that good. And even though I'm only over here, in order to get to this point, you have to walk on a road out there that goes all the way around the lake and ends up back here. So it's quite a bit of a walk to just go basically from here to there and pick up the other hike. So uh, let's see where this hike is about, see if it was worth it. This is the uh, Gulf of Tortoise, Tortoise Trail that I'm on right now. Um, I'm in a park uh, called Reed Bingham. I've never been here before. And uh, it's one of the dens, but as always, doesn't seem to be anything in there. And they mark the places with little flags so you could tell exactly what's in there. It's interesting how the light plays off of the trees in the water here. 